Hey world, hey universe. So happy to be back after a long time actually. Today we are going to talk about uh, the importance of writing. Okay, the moment I say writing, some of you would say that no, 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 I'm not good at writing. My handwriting is not good. It's been such a long time since I really stopped writing. Now that we have technology, we only like, you know, send messages and SMS and my handwriting has become even worse now. Of course, I mean, we have any excuses to give. But today, after I uh, finish talking about the benefits of writing, then I'm sure that many of you would take up writing as a very passionate uh, uh, subject okay so basically what is writing how many of us really like you know open up whatsapp to say send message to somebody but then after 15 minutes come out without actually sending message to that particular person but then going through all the other messages that uh, uh, that just sort of you know bombarded uh, uh, in groups or mess in, in you know in other chats or rather how many of us open up our emails to send an email but then come out after half an hour without actually sending that particular email. That's what is the disrupting power of technology. Disruption in the sense like bad way of disrupting. It takes away your, uh, your focus, your attention and then it really doesn't let you do what you want to do. And then but it offers you a wide variety of distractions and then time just flies off. So writing actually sorts of declutters your mind. And then it helps you bring all the clutter onto the paper basically. And it sort of helps you create your focus to, to an ability that you can never imagine. The moment you start writing and develop this art of writing, then you will know. I am not asking you to write pages and pages. All I am asking you to write is just two lines every day. And that is really possible. Okay. So writing is actually a process of meditation. So what we do in meditation, we sort of sit down and then just focus on our breath or try to control our thoughts or try to observe these thoughts. And then when you do writing, what are you doing? You are actually doing the same thing. You are trying to sort of declutter the whole mind and then really looking at putting the spotlight onto something that you want to achieve or rather, you know, if you're really feeling disturbed emotionally, then when you write and then you look at this writing and then you see, okay, this is something that's been disturbing me for quite some time. Okay, this is the problem that's been haunting me. This is a relationship issue. This is the problem with my, you know, the, the sort of emotional problems that I'm having with my friend or a colleague. Now, what is the solution to this problem? What is, what is this higher self of mine trying to tell you? trying to tell me because many times we don't want to get advice from others okay or even if we if we get advice from others we may feel that it's not applicable actually the truth is we don't need advice from anybody all we need to do is that to just tap into the power of our own higher self and this infinite intelligence that is there deep within and writing will help you accomplish that okay try writing down the problem and then ask your own self, what is the potential solution to this problem? Sit in silence just for a minute, the problem, the answer will come through. People who have not written for quite some time or you, who, who do not have this habit of writing at all, you can start simply with this on one process, okay? Before you go to bed every day, just write in two lines, okay? What really went well in that particular day? What didn't go well? And what you really want to sort of, you know, um, focus on okay suppose if something didn't go really well in that particular day what do you think you know can be done so that uh, you can change the trajectory you can change the path of the process the next day when you do or this simple act okay gratitude journal you can teach kids to do that what what are the two most important things that you are so very grateful for in that particular day for example, today I'm so grateful for the delicious food, for the little bit extra time that I got to sleep today morning, for the beautiful drain. So whatever that you feel that you are grateful for in that particular day, you can write it down. You can also ask kids to, you know, do that process. Or this big dream goal of yours, just write it and put it boldly on the wall. The moment you wake up, you can just wake up to this big dream or goal. Okay. Or some random ideas come through, okay, be it an idea, be it a, a creative thought, be it a quote, be it a poem, be it an art, okay, whatever it is, this relationship that you have between this pen, paper and your own self, 
that is so transformative in nature many of us underestimate the power of this process so i will tell you like when i was undergoing like depression um uh, uh, i used writing as a form of uh, you know i would even call it like a meditative process that really helped me to come out of the depression it didn't really happen overnight but i was just putting down all my emotions on paper and then i was just the moment i put down everything onto the paper i feel so very relieved okay so this process of writing basically will help you just you know transform um in ways that you can never imagine so when you look when you after 6 months say you just look back at your own journal you will be amazed to see the kind of wisdom that you possess you will be like oh my god is this me who have written or sometimes you can also see some patterns in the writing you could see some negative thoughts coming up again and again and again okay and then if it's coming up again and again and again maybe that's the time that you really need to Uh, seek advice or uh, you know take some support and then look at what you can do to get rid of that thought okay and then every day morning just 2 minutes you can spend and write down the action uh, the action points that you want to achieve in the day and right after you put down just look at okay why am i actually doing this and how this particular um, you know um, action point is is going to take me closer to my dreams remember that one episode i did where i spoke about doing things that are important but not urgent so it will help you to categorize your high priority activities okay so basically write write and write i would actually carry a notebook with me throughout the day any sort of thoughts that come to me any sort of you know um um even pending pending activities that i need to do whatever it is i just write it down okay so i think uh, i think we should all explore this process of writing and see what amazing benefits that writing can offer to all of us i would even call it call it as an inner sanctuary because um because many are as as i already told you when you write you know you go to this unexplored part of your own self and then which is very still very calm and then where there is this guidance where there is this wisdom and uh, and then you will be able to tap into the potential basically over this whole process of writing you will really see how nicely you are able to bring that your own bring your own inner wisdom out okay so do whatever that actually works for you if it is just drawing if it is just doodling if it is just you know some people may not really want to write but if you want to take uh, uh, notes even in your mobile uh, at the end of the day just do your gratitude journaling in your mobile phone do it but there is only one thing i would recommend put all your notifications off the best thing to do is put your technology away and use pen and paper and just encourage kids to actually start writing at a very very early age because they would really become very good human beings okay so that is all i have to say about uh, writing and uh, if uh, if any of you have any other thoughts about writing uh, or if you been practicing writing or journaling or you know writing diary for long years please do share your experience that could help our audience and uh, and then please people who have not explored this please start to explore and uh, and then reap those amazing benefits okay so until i see you in the next episode signing off with infinite love gratitude and bliss this is yours it is let the soul speak